Okay, guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on another Magic Potion carding session. Today we are transforming a braid of Tunis dyed in the colorway Love is in the Air, and we are transforming it into a beautifully gradient Magic Potion bat that I am calling Love Potion. So... <laughs> February is Valentine's month and I am loving all the Valentine's colorways and I thought I would bring you along on the journey of making this particular bat and I am so very pleased to be working with this fiber. Uh, Tunis is a lovely lovely fiber sort of short stapled. This particular roving is a mixture of long and short staples and everything in between. Um, as it was several different fleeces thrown in together in one batch. So the first thing I'm doing is separating out the colors, uh, the gradient, and then dividing each of those gradients into in half so I can make two bats that perfectly match. And then I will be adding in some other fibers, and I will get to that in a moment. Um, while I am sorting out these fibers, I would like to give a very warm welcome to new viewers and a welcome back to returning viewers. If you haven't already, please do hit that uh, subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos as they come out. And as always, leave your comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. I do love to read and respond to all of your comments. So um, if you hesitate to leave a comment, just remember I love to read them and you are important to me and I want you to know that. And I want you to know that you are valued and I appreciate you spending time with me. So I am adding in um, Jacob wool because I happen to have it handy and it is a very nice fiber to add in as a base layer, as a smooth layer. It's a long, smooth staple compared to the roving that I'm using. Jacob is more drapey than uh, Tunis. Tunis is more bouncy. So this kind of makes it easier and fun and tones down the um, intensity of the Tunis just a little bit. And I wanted it to be light and fluffy and sky sort of soft cotton candy type feel. Anyway, so I have lay down the Jacob and then I am putting in stripes of color on the drum carter to form a gradient. There are easier ways to do this and I really didn't think about it um, before I got started. So yeah, we're doing it this way. We're doing a one pass carding to create the bats and they're, they're beautiful and perfect. So who's going to complain about that? And then I'm adding in some silk because who doesn't love silk in their spins and their beautiful fibers. I also have uh, lyocell that I'm adding in and I learned a new way to do this. So lyocell is one of those new to me fibers that's um, a wood pulp derived and it's crimpy and it's short stapled and it's a little weird feeling and it's shimmery and I have used it in different ways and this is the first time I've just laid it on the feed in tray and then covered it with wool and that worked amazingly well. I have painted it, I have sandwiched it between layers of wool which also works very very well uh, but this was easier. So, and I did try to put the colors of Lyocell along with the colors of the wool. And that Lyocell was a sort of a fail dye job where I attempted to use uh, acid dye with salt to dye the Lyocell and most of the dye came out. So it's very, very pastel. It was an experiment and I don't know that I'm going to dye the rest of it. Um, I may try some plant fiber dyes, uh, fiber reactive, but I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. So, um, but this was the easiest way I found to add lyocell fiber, all that texture, 
um, through the drum carter with the least amount of fuss. So that's a good, that's a good thing. Also, I had dyed up a little bit of purple bamboo when I was dyeing the lyocell and um, that took the dye a little bit better. So I was happy with that. Um, there's the, the purple dyed bamboo. I have not dyed plant fibers in the past. Like I've, I've tried and didn't work. Um, so that's something I need to experiment more with using the proper dyes. Uh, so in the future, there will be videos of me dyeing plant fiber at some point, maybe. Definitely. It will happen. I just don't know when. <laughs> so as per usual, I am layering bamboo and lyocell and silk with layers of, um, Tunis and occasionally a layer of Jacob. And I did not weigh anything out beforehand. So the bats have been weighed afterwards and I wrote everything down, but naturally I don't know where I wrote the info. Don't remember. Um, it's somewhere I won't lose it. <laughs> Probably in my phone <laughs> where everything goes. Um, but anyways, this was so much fun to work with this lovely Tunis. I, Tunis is one of my favorite breeds to work with because it's got so much personality and it's so bouncy. Um, you make a sweater out of Tunis and it's so tiny and then you block it and it's bigger and then you wear it and it's like, it's like wearing a hug. It's so nice. Um, so it, it doesn't have much in the way of drape, but it holds its shape well. It has good stitch amazing stitch definition like Tunis is one of those that uh fibers that you can get good cables from a two-ply <laughs> because it just loves to hold its shape anyway I think I've rambled on and on and on quite enough um I don't think I use all of the fiber because I can't fit it on here so um, when I was done with the second bat, I took the little bit of leftovers and I made a mini bat for myself so I can spin the lyocell because I haven't done that yet. I thought I had included that in my um, Valentine spin, which is actually the same colorway, same fiber, but I blended it differently and then um, did not put lyocell in it. So, anywho. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed the making of this bat and I hope you don't mind the rambling today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And as per usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.